What's going on guys? It's Isaac. Today we are working on the Subi. We are removing the governor arm and bolting the case back together. We are removing the cover to get to the governor arm. Here's the governor arm. What I was planning on doing is just cutting that arm off right there and I was going to leave the rest of this in just in case we keep this linkage. A lot of people just take the whole thing out and put a screw in it. I like to leave that arm there just in case we need it for the factory carburetor. What do y'all think of my eye compression? I made a earring out of a lock washer, made a necklace out of some garden wire and some nuts. All because this morning when I was looking for my shorts I usually film in, I couldn't find them. But I found these and I was like, these look like Ike shorts. <laughs> Uh, okay, but for real, we gotta cut that governor arm out. Yeah, let's let's get her done. Ooh, there you go. Look at that. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. And you can use the factory linkage. This looks a lot like the uh, carburetors on the big Predators. The 420s, yeah. And don't we have a 420 carburetor hanging around? Oh yeah, we got, ooh, we got a plenty of them. Let's see. And that's it, dude. Dude, it doesn't look that bad in there. No. Needs a little bit Just of cleaning need, up uh, down here. Needs a little bit of cleaning. We'll blow it out. We probably don't even have to vat it, dude. I think it was clogged up. Sounded like it. So we dug around in our Go Power Sports stash. We found a 420, a 301 420 adapter and a 212 adapter. Uh, we're gonna see if either one of these are gonna work. You'd think that the 420 or 301 would work because this is more of a nine horse engine. I would have thought. But no. Doesn't it's too fit. big. Too big. Okay. Too big. So we're gonna try the 212. Doesn't fit. Dang. Yeah. This one is too skinny. You aren't thinking. Thinking what? Of drilling it out? Yeah. Maybe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, pre-drill a small hole, and then we're gonna go with a bigger one. Okay. What we got here is a different spot for these, so we're gonna have to grind Dude, yeah. we're going for it. Okay. We're going for it. We're gonna ruin a perfectly good, we're gonna modify <laughs> this. Ruin, I mean modify. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna slot it and make it universal. Ike hit our adapter with the side of a drill bit, but we're gonna go out and buy a file and some gray silicone. Ike. Yeah? Grab me some gray silicone. How'd you find me, dude? Um, well, we can get you a single file or we can go see about getting a whole set. Let's grab some gray silicone over here. Yeah. Silicone. 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 Thanks. There it is. Thank you, sir. You think you're funny? Yeah, I am. Who's funny now? All right. One more. Oh. You want to double check it with a ratchet? Nah. Work that thing. Is that it? Yeah, should we hit it with some uh, PU blaster or something? Uh, it it wouldn't hurt. Oh, you didn't spray anything in there, did no, you? No, I didn't. You didn't? Good. 
should be fine. Cool. Alright, spark plug. Yep. Sweet. Man, I really want to wax this uh, pull cord. It would help lubricate it, keep it from fraying as much, and it would, well, lubricate it. All right. Good? That'll do, donkey. <laughs> People are gonna be like, why didn't you clean it up? Well, because we didn't. Subaru. Gotta come up with a cool name. I don't know. She should be pretty thirsty. It's real close right now. Okay. So we'd have to trim. Gotta trim a lot. You know, just a flat spot right there. Sounds good. Nothing too crazy because we don't want it to be too weak and split. We are taking the cage off. Not the whole cage, just the back half. So we can uh, access the engine better. Ah, yes sir. I'm getting that this change. Yeah, let's just replace it. Yeah. Yeah, gonna need the gonna need the right on those. Oh, the back ones. Ready? Yeah. I will need that from the pillow. That's what you're doing. Alrighty. Hey, yeah. Torque inverter should come with it. There it is. It's kinda hot. So we're reusing the old torque converter. Yeah. By dumb luck, we cut the shaft. Exactly right. That's right, exactly right, so that we can reuse the old torque converter. And because we're using the original torque converter, we can reuse and we don't have to touch the engine plate, which is awesome. It is. Now we can bolt it up. Cool. Wow. Really? Then then uh, when we bolt it up, we'll uh, see about cranking it up and we'll uh, cut this while it's running. Our belt won't fit. When we put the engine on with the old torque converter, the, there's some differences and it just won't fit. So John went to the store to get another belt. So I am going work to work on getting the chain on and I noticed with the old chain it was getting pretty close to rubbing right there. It's the oil level boss in the block. So I'm gonna take this sprocket and I'm gonna try to loosen the bolts and I want to move it over just a tad and see if that'll help. I think it will. There she be. That's it. Move this thing back. And she's tight. That's a lawnmower belt. It's not gonna work permanently. It's for testing purposes only. Right. I mean, there's only one yeah. way to tell. Yeah. It doesn't look, it looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll, that'll uh, work for testing purposes and... Until uh, we can get a proper... Until we'll get the proper, yeah, until we get the proper... We're just putting the muffler on so we can fire it up and then cut 
the shaft, the excess shaft, and we can drill it, tap it, bolt the rack on, figure out what we're doing with an exhaust, and then cutting that muffler, welding a new exhaust. Yep. I see the uh, exhaust is uh, gonna cause a problem. Mm, it's close. But the choke might not be on, and I'm not sure which way it goes. Nice and quiet. turn out straight looking couldn't get the wheel off so we just let the air out of the tire hmm. bada bing bada boom close enough let me know if i look crooked yes sir Just have to do some crazy stacking washers. Oh, and yeah. Stuff. Got it. Right, don't make fun of this. This is just for testing purposes. Isn't that crazy? Looking? That's a good one right there. Isn't it? Oh, uh, we got to hook up throttle. Yes, and we need to <clears throat> ratchet strap our uh, gas tank on. Yep. All right. It really does just hurt, though. Yeah. Uh, last I checked, you were leaking fuel like a. Oh yeah. Heard the bull. Looks like it. All right. Well, we'll loosen it and then uh, reseat it. Okay. It's going right back to where it was though. Yeah. Well, turn it back on. Is the switch on? Yeah. Yeah. Hear that chain chopping. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's pretty epic. Leaking fuel, but we'll fix that. Yeah. Got a fuel leak. Got fuel leaks we need to take care of. Got to put a permanent fuel tank on it. Need a proper belt. Might need to do some jetting. And then it's going to haul. And then it's just, you know, cool stuff. Lights, radio, yeah. horn. Air conditioning. Exactly. Yeah. Electric start. So now we know why people don't do generators all the time on these go-karts. Well, I mean... It's a lot of work. Ah, it's not so bad. Well, I mean, what... 
you know, it's something really unique and it's a nine horse and it's cool. So would you rather have like, you know, 20 hours in a nine horse or, you know, 250 bucks for a 301? It's, you know, that's a choice you're gonna have to make. Buddy, but. I'm not sure if a 301 is gonna fit. Oh, that's true. This is pretty small and it's overhead cam. It's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 It's a very unique engine. It is a unique engine. Uh, and I think it's a little bit smaller than the 301 420 engines. Yeah. Uh, and we already have uh, issues with uh, fitment. Right. Yeah. yeah. Need to figure out a new exhaust too. Yeah. So anyway, all that on the next episode, on the next installment of uh, Off-Road Wednesdays. We got to thank Go Power Sports. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. That's right, new merchandise, cars-cameras.com. Shirts, hats, hoodies, stickers. There's the hat. Check it out, check it out. Good stuff. Uh, what do y'all think? Are you guys gonna be in a rush to put a uh, generator engine on a go-kart? <laughs> Let us know, I guess if you have a lot of time, tools and expertise and energy on your hands. Might not be a bad idea, but I don't know. We, we really don't know how this performs yet because the belt's so bad. It it feels better than the oh yeah it does yeah to to comfy yeah yeah so anyway thanks for watching we will see you in the next one.